that, you know, uh, everything that Ryan says is biblical um, in regards to the PED test. I mean, like I said before, I went off last night in the live. I'm not even going to change the title of the live because it really turned into a live about Errol Spence, Deontay Wilder, and uh, Canelo Alvarez, and it turned into a Ryan Garcia thing. And one of the reasons why I went off on, on niggas yesterday and people yesterday was the simple fact that I didn't show y'all how to source I done showed y'all how to find out and how to read certain things and context clues. It's not hard. I was supposed to talk about Tank last night. Didn't happen. <laughs> it did not happen. But I, I tried to show I showed y'all time and time again how to source these things, right? And um, when we started talking about supplements and tainted supplements, bro, all right, I would believe it. If he went from the beginning and went from the first product that was tainted, then cool. You know, shit happens. If it was a product that wasn't third party tested, you know, okay, cool. That's understandable. I definitely understand. Okay, that, that possibly couldn't have been that. But the problem with all that shit is this. Okay. Um, if you did something that's innocent, why are we facilitating? Or trying to facilitate a four-month ban. I mean, at the end of the day, the most I felt like he'd get was a year or six months. All right? So why are we trying to facilitate? That's admitting guilt. First, it went from... See, I know y'all got a bad memory. All right? First, it went from... Um, it was the ashwagandha. Okay? You got different versions of ashwagandha. I, I see a lot of people um, in the supplement world favor, or some people favor KM... Uh, uh, dash 66 you know and maybe I do some supplement talking on, on the Patreon of Goodfellow TV side of things if I like to hear some supplement talk I can help y'all you know especially in the bedroom with subs in the gym with subs in every way that life with subs and have more energy going to work all that shit right you know um, that's something y'all want to hear cool um all right but nonetheless, uh, then it was astragonda. Then they did a hair and nail test. All right. I debunked and I, I debunked the hair test on two occasions. Last night, I put it on the screen. I debunked it. A hair test cannot um, this cannot override a urinalysis. I read why last night. But Ryan Garcia's legal team, legal rep Paul Green, has declared that they are now hoping to agree on a ban of four months or less. For Garcia's positive drug test stating that the two supplements Garcia listed on his Vada doping control forms have proven to have contaminated with osterine. We understand Ryan's going to get some, uh, some sanction, but we feel like given the evidence, it should be a light, a light situation. Okay, at the end of the day, we about to dig a little bit deeper, right? So I don't even take supplements. So, you know, and things change. That was December 22nd, 03. All right. At the end of the day, bro, He's a lying piece of shit. He's lying. You know, was it ashwagandha? And then one of my things is this, man. To get the full range of supplements, bro, to get the full out of supplements and out of out of herbs and plants and stuff like that, we started talking about supplementing and vitamins and stuff of that nature. Unless you get, like, a, a IV um, injection, which you do, you can get IVs that come to your house or you go to the, 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 the center and if you dehydrated or you you really want to pay and you really want to get the after effects of you know certain vitamins and minerals directly into your stream, and that's another benefit of using the IV. It helps you rehydrate and, and also everything that you deplenish cutting weight, which you gonna cut weight when you excessively sweat, you lose salt, you lose you lose all that stuff when you when you sweat and cutting weight, you cutting water. You cutting salt, you cutting aminos out, you cut everything in your body, potassium, a lot, all that's going out the body. That's why they say when you work out, you tear the body down, but what you put in your body after the workout, it it helps rebuild and restore the muscle to grow back bigger, stronger, and and better. Okay, see, I'm schooling y'all. I mean, some of y'all should know this if you work out, right? So when he said he took an illegal IV, real quick. You, dude, he could be putting all that shit back in his body that he lost. You know, when, you know, all that shit you could put in the IV that you lost. Because my mom gets the IV lady to come to the crib. 
You know, so you, if you don't consistently take vitamins and stuff and you want to get the effect of, a, you know, you have iron injections and shit like that or uh, diffusions, whatever the fuck they call it. Not really familiar with that. You you just go right into the bloodstream. You can go right to the B12 store. You know, they give you a shot and get a cartonine shot, which is good for fat loss in, in your hair. Um, I got cartine over here. But over the course of time, when you taking supplements, long story short, it, it you know, most studies that's done by third party or third by independent labs on mice or human studies or whatever the studies may be. Um, most of them is usually about four to eight weeks. And a lot of times, you know, in group studies, you don't see a massive change. That's four to eight weeks. You're like, well, you know, somewhere in there. Right. Now, have I took supplements that I've had a, a effect sooner than that week or two? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, um, but I say all that to say this. He popped hot for Osterine the day before the fight, the day of the fight. He didn't pop hot for that drug, none leading up to that fight, which leads me to believe that he cycled, he used the drug wrong and cycled off of it wrong. People say, what does cycle off? Um, when you cycle something, you take something and then you stop taking it. Um, in the steroid and performance enhancing world, you cycle off so you won't get caught. So I take it in this window and they tell me, oh, don't take, you know, all right, then you don't take it for this time, but you still get the direct effects. Okay. So um, you, you also should cycle off just if you do fat burners, if you do um, any stem, pre-workout stem. I mean, even some non-pre-workout stems, I think you shouldn't depend on things long, amino acids. Vitamins are cool, you know, because you're going to get them from everyday food. You just... Maybe it's hard to get all the vitamins that you need out of everyday foods because um, a lot of people believe that the food is compromised. I just say that. Um, so vitamins are cool. And like I said, if you really feeling low, you you know, you need, you need a B12 shot of vitamin C. I don't know if they do vitamin C shots. But if you really need those things, then, yeah, you can go, you know, get an IV injection. You can get an iron infusion or whatever the fuck they call it. You can go get those things for sure, for sure. So, um, you know, but, uh, but my thing is, they, you know, they, they're saying that, um, they're saying that this is their case. Well, you know, we, we found the two, uh, contaminate as bullshit. They trying to spin it where he does not get the blow for popping hot. If I didn't pop hot and I'm innocent and it was the, uh, and they say it was amino acids, something like that. That's what they were saying in the comment section. I'm suing the company, compromising my reputation. Uh, I'm not taking a suspension because it was contaminated. I didn't know I took it. I didn't know I took it. Right? And with me not knowing I took it, I'm not taking no responsibility. I'm suing the company. Right? If I can prove it was them, I'm suing the company, especially if it's FDA approved company, which we looked it up last night that the ledger product was FDA approved company. It was a third party company. What that basically means is another independent laboratory it investigated it, it where they test the products that have no stake in the game with the original company. They investigated it and they say it's good to go. It's clean. Okay. So here we go. Kobe sent me this this morning before I hopped on. So great. So Jake Diamond said, we're known both products that were sent to the lab for testing were opened. Sealed only with tape for shipping. Standard testing for supplements normally calls for a sealed sample from the lot numbers. Now, what did I say? What did I say yesterday? What did I say yesterday? If you watched that live, when I got to the point, uh, when I got to the point where I said, you know, when I talked about the cars, when they have a problem or a defect with the cars, they go back to the date that the cars were made. Then they go back to the 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 date that that car was made and they go back and check the group, the group of cars that was made within that window, that date or that shift or that day, most likely the shift. And they go see if those cars got the same defect or, you know, if it don't have the same defect, then they try to investigate on why this car wasn't put the right way. Now, if those cars do have the same defect, you know what I'm saying? Um, now we're going to check the shift before the day before they go by lot numbers. So like I said before, with his dumb ass, they, they, I told y'all how they play it. He probably put something in there. And at the end of the day, if, if it was a tainted, a tainted product, right? Tainted supplement. Um, 
now they're going to go back to the lot number and, and, and you know probably best got something they probably got some of that shit still stored somewhere they're going to test a few of them and they're going to see where those contaminated as well he's a fucking liar dog y'all so gullible y'all got so much hate for Devin Haney he's a liar now if they say you know what test this product here go the product check out the lot number Let's see, you know, let's see if we can get another group of, of, of supplements tested to see what's going on. This is not some un FDA approved company. They are FDA approved and third party tested. It's a respectable company. I haven't took their products, but one of my subs did. We did the investigation. It's a it's a it's a it's a FDA approved the company. Come on. Reviews on the internet, you know, the FDA approved company. Come on. Um, uh, uh, one of the ones we pulled up. You can go to that website and find this shit. Cause I'm skimming through it. But for the most part, it's an FDA approved company. Now, I seen something on the internet that said e EAA are better. ESAA, whatever EAA I think it is, is better. Which is essential uh, amino acids. Okay, um, I'll get some one day, and I'll let you ninjas know. <laughs> I've took in branch chain amino acids. Most of your uh, proteins usually have branch chain amino acids in there. Uh huh. So I know shit about that. I've been taking shit for years like that. That's why a lot of y'all, you know. You know, need that extra little edge in the gym or whatever, or you deficient or you're anemic or you're always cold or you got bad, poor blood circulation, uh, I definitely can point you in the right direction <laughs> on a number of things. So, um, but like I said before, uh, Victor Conti has something to say, our favorite guy who, who, who tainted. He said, this is very important by Jake. Sending a tub of a product possibly months old with a broken seal and no chain of custody is not how things are done in a scientific, credible manner. And that's in any type of manner. There, If there is a real investigation that's going to go on with this company, they're going to sue the fuck out of Ryan Garcia if ain't nothing contaminated. And if Ryan Garcia was innocent, he, you know, he's not taking no ban. If I ain't do shit, I ain't taking no ban. I'm taking full action. I'm suing the company for contaminated products. And like I said before, this ain't no 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 Joe Smoke company. This is a credible company with four and a half better stars across multiple pla of course multiple sellers. Amazon, all that. So this is a very, very respectable company. So like I continue to say, it is what it is. Believe what you want to believe. But if y'all that gullible, y'all got that much hate for one person that y'all gonna take up for a cheater, it's crazy. But I, I can't convince y'all nothing. Y'all going around like Vada came out and said this. All this is said by Ryan Garcia's team. Ryan Garcia claims his lawyer says his lawyer also said he did a hair test, but didn't tell y'all dumbasses that a hair test for Osterine does it can't overrule your analysis. All that did was take five minutes of research from you from the kid to know that. So hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. We want to support the channel? Uh, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate y'all. Peace.